Welcome to Cornerstone's Morning Minute. A little bit of history. On June 6, 1944, a great event called D-Day occurred. On that day, hundreds of thousands of Allied ground troops and airmen and seamen carried out what was called the Invasion of Europe, the day that the liberation of Europe, which had been held under the iron boot of Nazi forces for years, would begin. A beachhead was established, and when that successfully occurred, when the Allied forces were able to gain a hold on the shores of Normandy, that was the beginning of the end for the Third Reich. There were still many months of fighting ahead. Victory Europe Day would not be until May of 1945. Many thousands would still die. The Allied forces would still have to fight their way through the bloody hedgerows of France. The Battle of the Bulge was yet to come. Many fatalities, many casualties, much sweat, pain, and courage still lay ahead. But really and truly, on that morning of June 6, 1944, the destiny of the war was firmly decided. Well, with that in mind, I want to read a little passage of Scripture from 1 John chapter 2. And you may be wondering, what am I trying to say with all this in regard to our Christian faith? The Apostle says in verse 8, Again, a new commandment I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is past, and the true light is already shining. I don't have time to go into it now, but for thousands of years, Satan had, up to the point of the coming of Christ, worked very hard to try to prevent that coming. That's what all of the efforts to destroy the Israelite people were ultimately about. Satan laboring to destroy the line of Abraham and the line of David in order to prevent the son of David from entering the world and accomplishing the redemption of his people. When Christ ascended Calvary, when he died upon the cross and rose again, that was the death blow to the kingdom of darkness from which there would be no recovery whatsoever. That doesn't mean that all the skirmishes and battles are over. That doesn't mean that there'll be no physical or emotional casualties. Satan continues to labor to inflict his anger on the people of Christ. Now that Christ is victorious and Satan is in retreat, he yet bitterly endeavors with the full of his angry soul to do harm to God's people. And we as God's people feel the pain and the sorrow of his hateful energy. But at the same time, Satan knows that he's a defeated enemy. Just as the Axis powers knew that once the beachhead was gained at Normandy, there in the end would be no saving Nazi Germany. So Satan knows that now that Christ has come and has risen, redemption has been accomplished. It is being applied and it is merely waiting for its inevitable consummation. Christian, in this life we yet experience the hedgerows of Christian struggle. Here and there, there are battles of the bulge where the church may suffer greatly and the casualties may be very painful. But both as the body of Christ as a whole and individually as believers, we need to take very seriously these words of John when he tells us that the darkness is passing away and the light is already shining. That has happened in a personal way in each of us as believers, as Christ has come into our life, 
He has cleansed our sin and he is taking us safely to heaven. And it also will occur in the broad stroke of the body of Christ, the whole people of God, who in Christ have achieved final victory. And now, although there are skirmishes ahead, we await the final and certain consummation in which our enemy shall forever surrender. He will be condemned and a new heavens and a new earth will begin in which we will only know peace and the fruits of victory. Be encouraged. The darkness truly is past, and the light of Christ is already beginning to shine. Let's give praise to the Lord Jesus for that. Lord Jesus, we thank you that your victory is accomplished, that redemption is accomplished, that salvation has come to pass. You have established your beachhead on the shores of history, and the march toward the heart of the enemy has begun. Although he may scream and scratch and resist, he cannot stop the inevitable conquest of Christ and his people. And we celebrate you, Lord Jesus, our great general, our great leader, who has accomplished this salvation for us, and now allows us to bask in the fruits of your glorious victory. Give us a spirit of courage and optimism, even in the face of the most difficult times. For, Lord, truly the darkness is passing away, and the true light of Jesus is already shining. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me for this history slash theology lesson. I hope it was encouraging. Join me again coming Monday as we continue with our Bible study in our Cornerstone Morning Minute. Bye.